Howard had a little trouble with it, and he scoops up in the end zone, but he's got to get out of there. He did. They're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. Tucker Watts has been outstanding this year. Third and five, and Marshall keeping it, able to break a tackle and get the first down out to the 40-yard line. Completion. They don't throw it often, but when they do, it's down the field. Marshall with the pitch. George is all over it. It's defense like this. Marshall, a rare pass. And it is incomplete through the hands of Brad Stewart. So it's fourth down. Presley Harvin, a 240-pound punter. It's scooped up on the 11 by Hardman. He's got running room. Hardman past the 30-yard line. Great return for me, Cole Hardman, one of the top returners in the SEC, 38 yards. They've never had two backs with 1,000 yards in the same season. Michelle has a chance to get that. And on an end around, it's Hardman getting the first down. You see the Jets of Miko Hardman again. Extremely intriguing prospect as he transitions to the next level. They give it to Swift, and he has another Georgia first down. He's playing his first collegiate season. They get the Michelle who breaks a tackle initially, another one, and it's a first down of the 25. Let's run. I mean, look, this thing's perfectly covered. You see Mitchell in the back. He misses him. Then you see Michelle do a little shimmy, jump cut, and then go forward for the needed yardage. He's so elusive. They don't throw it a lot to their backs, though. From steps up. His pass is caught. It's Hardman, and it's another Georgia first down. Play 11 of the drive. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the back shoulder throw. It's pulled in by Wims, and he's ruled out of bounds at the one. He had secured it to the ground before. He popped up, and the ball came out. You see, he clearly has control of the ball. Good job. Good concentration by Wims. That's well covered on the perimeter. It really is. That's a touchdown. A step done. Chubb behind him on first and goal. It's Chubb, and he's in. Touchdown, Georgia. Number 13 on the season for Nick Chubb. And Georgia Tech with a second down and long. Marshall with the pitch to Lynch, who gets outside and gets the first down to the 36-yard line. Marshall with time, now throws underneath, and rule the catch. First down by Lynch. From the Georgia 27-yard line, Michelle getting outside to the 35-yard line before he's knocked out. And it looks like it's a Georgia first down. If you can stack the resumes and they're close, and I'd like to see them stay away from it. Chubb, and there's just way too much movement up front. George's offensive line so much better than it was last year. And it hasn't been very successful to this point. Chubb! Big play is Griffin. They try to run outside. Chubb bounced it wide. And Corey Griffin with too much speed. It's fourth down. Movement on the right-hand side. You see number 20, Austin. Knifing inside. Several guys crossing face of... Marshall, late pitch, and Cersei dumped by Roquan Smith. It, it's so hard to get outside Smith, the leading tackler. True. Do you beat Georgia twice and Alabama in a month? I think that's pretty good. Pass on the money to Ricky June, their best receiver, and they can't bring him down. Carries a convoy with him to the 36-yard line. When it comes to bringing down opposing players. Wide pitch to Cottrell. Smith able to track him down, and it'll be close to the first down. It appeared that Cottrell got enough to move the chains. Excellent blocking downfield as Benson gets the first down. Difficult to handle and recognize on a down-by-down -down basis. Second and three. Benson, the first man through, and he gets popped. Atres Patrick met him behind the line of scrimmage as we go to Cassidy. Could get very interesting. 
on a jet sweep. Lynch trying to get the speed. Just can't do that against Georgia. It's really hard with their linebackers. That's a 240-pounder, DeAndre Walker. Fourth and four. Marshall will throw here. Almost intercepted. Georgia will take over on downs anyway. Or drop 7-0. First down on the 34-yard line. Big hole, Michelle. Keeps his balance. Wow. We showed you the power earlier. Jamie, the offensive coordinator, has done such a good job of balancing the carries. Here's Chubb getting the call, and he gets a first down. On the 36-yard line. Here's the quarterback keeping it. Nobody thought Fromm would hang out of the ball there. And he has a huge running lane. Rock you to sleep with their handoffs. Of course, you can see flying inside. Victor Alexander takes the running back, and there he is. Jake Fromm just pulling it. Little zone read. And he sees some green grass on the outside. He's not the most needed yardage when they have to have it in the zone read game. Off play action from looking middle. Wide open touchdown. Javon wins. Run, run, run. Play action as you approach the red zone. They go with a triple post instead of a double post this time. Wims is left one on one against Lawrence. And not quite as balanced. Bulldog fans making themselves known. They're up on their feet right now. Marshall gets out of there, and he's able to break a tackle and get a first down, and then maybe a late hit. Great job by Taquan Marshall. Nothing there as he moves to his right. He gets back to the left, and he's had success doing this. When he's dropping back, and you see the defenders running out underneath some of the passing lanes, he's been able to take off and pick up some big yardage. First things first, third and five. Marshall, pitch to Cottrell, and he's able to get the first down, keep his feet in play. And they finally track him down to the 20-yard line. The first time this Georgia Tech offense has had success getting on the perimeter for the right-hand side. Cottrell out in space, tight roping that sideline. Keep an eye, making sure he stayed in bounds right there. It was close. On third and one, Marshall keeps it. And looks like he's got it to the nine. going to be their line of thinking because field goals is not going to get them back into this game. Marshall in trouble in the backfield. Well, that certainly hurts. So it's back on the field for Georgia. Third and goal for Georgia Tech. Marshall to the air. Got a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Ricky June. The one guy, if you're Georgia, you can't leave open. As Marshall went back to pass, they didn't pass it off correctly because of the action of the two wide receivers who crisscrossed there. Where Taquan Marshall dropped back, used his own legs, and picked it up right there in the pass play, getting a big touchdown. Great conversions by the Yellow Jackets. Hardman past the 25, slam to the ground. If Alabama winning goes. I think it's Alabama if it loses. Here's Sony Michelle off the left side. And fist fighting with a defender. Taken down at the 40-yard line. They'll stop the clock to call a timeout here for Georgia. Georgia still has two timeouts. And they've got a kicker. He's got a strong leg. From with a long throw that's caught by Riley Ridley. Calvin Ridley of Alabama's younger brother, and he's out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Georgia Tech rushes four. Fromm finds an open receiver. Wims to the 20-yard line. And it's perfect. That's big and most productive receiver on the day so far. Four catches, 61 yards, and a touchdown for Wims. Tech blitzing. Fromm gets leveled and throws it out of play. Sailed it out of bounds. Good call by defensive coordinator Ted Roof. Isaac's punt, fair caught at the 35-yard line by Brad Stewart. It's Ben Stadium just down the street here in at Atlanta, and they're going to be in the playoff. 
Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage is Benson. He actually lost a yard. I think it's a, it's a good no call. Marsha rolling out. Now stepping up. And he cannot outrun Roquan Smith. And so it'll be fourth down. Had an outstanding campaign. They run Chubb off the right side. And he's too hard to stop. And he's going to transform this program quickly. Chubb met behind the line. It's going to be a loss in the play. And Branch back there, along with Santa Moore. It'll be third down. If they are, they can play with anybody. Ground to the air on third and four. And it's pulled in by Wims again. There's just no pressure at all, so Fromm stands back there. This Georgia fan base wants. They want the best in state to stay in red and black. Another deep ball from Hardman pulls it in inside the five-yard line. Miko Hardman going up and making a very contested catch. Once a defensive back has moved over to the offensive side, and he has not looked back. He's so explosive and fast. In all the games last year as a freshman, Fromm comes in against Notre Dame and has not looked back. Michelle bouncing it to the outside. What a great cut! He scores! Touchdown, Georgia! Just so elusive. Look at how sudden his feet stop. Boom. Just brush him to the side and jog into the end zone against an attack like this. How many plays in the playbook for third and seven for Georgia Tech? Marshall rolling out and thrown out a play by Roquan Smith. Man, have we seen a performance at linebacker this year? Number three. You see him drop in the coverage, and he recognizes as soon as Taquan Marshall leaves that throwing posture, that's when he triggers. The three tight ends in the game, Michelle powers forward and picks up the first down. Commits to Georgia knowing exactly what they have, and he doesn't care. Chubb able to get the first down. What? Who would have thought Jake Fromm's under center right now? Michelle again. It's another Georgia first down. Thomas at right tackle. He's a true freshman. He's played well. Big hole again. Swift off to the races. Stretching out, but won't get in. Taken out of bounds by Austin. 32-yard gain. It'll be first and goal from inside the two. Makes his presence known. Says, don't forget about me. I'm still here. And I had someone in the Georgia program that said DeAndre Swift right now as a true freshman might be our best football player. He's that versatile. And I'm really looking forward to seeing this young man. Of course, there won't be much drop off. Number seven is the feature back. See if they try to give him a touchdown here. Swift over the top. Touchdown, Georgia. DeAndre Swift. Going vertical and landing in the end zone. Fresh legs. First down run for Benson. I call it cheating. Years old at this point. How do you remember all this stuff at such a, a, a young age when all this occurred? Marshall, nice run, picking up the first down of the 47 yard line. <laughs> Starts with a sweater vest. Yes. <laughs> Marshall on the loose inside the 30-yard line. Taquan Marshall all the way to the 23 before he gets slammed to the ground. To hear, but if Paul Johnson can do it at a school like Georgia Tech, why not? Niamatololo. Well defended by Walker on the quarterback. Marshall, it's going to be third and long. Attack. Third and ten, they're in four down territory. Marshall to the end zone, and it is intercepted. And Baker takes it out. Tackled at the 15-yard line. Probably not the smartest move to run out of the end zone that deep, but it's the second interception of the season. I think some of the elite stardom has kind of disappeared. He has stepped into that role and is by far the best middle linebacker in the game right now. From on the money, Crimson with no defender in sight. Only Pater, he can see. Touchdown, Georgia, 78 yards. 
and Jim Harbaugh last week. But now they have to play a Minnesota team that's coming off getting blown out by Northwestern last week. Wow, what a hit by LeCount, but Marshall got the first down. Second and seven for Georgia Tech on its 40 yard line with nine minutes to go. And a huge hit in the backfield as Marshall is leveled by Walker. A challenging game for them right now. They're the highest ranked uh, group of five team. A running room on third and eight. Fourth down for Georgia Tech. Well, you made the point earlier that, you know, Kirby Smart said as they run Holyfield again for a first down out to the 35. Credit to him. Started all 12 games last year. Easton did a quarterback. Brian Harry in the ball carrier. First down to midfield. The freshmen are playing significant roles. The one thing is you get blown out at Auburn. It makes you wonder, okay, you get Auburn or Alabama next week. Over Georgia Tech since they started the award. And the Bulldogs are going to hit it again here in 2017 after losing in Athens last year. They run Holyfield, and he does not get the first down, so the clock will stop on the change of possession. Seven seconds left. Sometimes playing a triple option team before you have a big game as they fumble the exchange. Sometimes that's difficult. I'm not sure that's really going to be a problem for Georgia. This one's over. Georgia's 11-1.